What's up guys, today I built this awesome LEGO Minecraft portal frame from the center of the ancient city in Minecraft, and it looks phenomenal. It It's just a beautiful set that I have custom made, and it was like $300, so let's get into it. I've completed the first little layer, and it is just abominably big. I didn't even realize how big this was going to be in person, but it is insanely massive. Like, compared to my arm, my arm isn't even the full length of it. It's just a huge build, and it looks really great so far, with the, all the little fire underneath, and then the two platforms, which will help hold up the upper area, and then the little kind of, like, staircase up. I finished the next little big section of the build. I did end up having to change part of the design up in here to actually get the stuff that I'm going to put on it to actually fit in where I want it to, so that's why it's just kind of random bricks that I already have to up in there. But it's just these tiles, which will help pieces connect. And then you can see on the sides, which is where the upper pillars will go. And now to actually put this on, it's going to be a bit of a process just because it is such a huge build. And there's so many little studs that have to connect. But I think that's honestly on pretty good. I'll probably go back and put it on a bit better afterwards. But that looks pretty good to me so far. I get to add on the first little section of the pillar, which is just kind of the bottom section. And then I will be adding more on to the top. And over on the other side, we can put the other little pillar base part on right here. I've gotten to a point where I've kind of built this stuff up inside. I'm still waiting on the tiles for these little spots to come in. But I do have the little, like, grippling built and stuff. And then over here, I have these things which can attach on now. And they just slide on like that, and then I just have to push them on, and those are the little, like, warden ear things of the build. So as for this little, like, portal frame kind of thing, I ended up just having to support it with some clear pieces, and it is not 100%, like, piece accurate or whatever, like, scale accurate to Minecraft. I did have to use some pieces right there to help hold it up. And then I had to use gray tiles on the top because I did not have tan tiles to do so. And I also just needed to be able to have a flat surface up there because there was no way I was going to get studs to connect to the roof. And it still all hold together. But anyways, I can finally put the big top piece on. And it is going to be completed pretty much whenever I do this. But then we have a few more simple little things, such as adding mini figures in. This one is going to get two mini figures, and then a mob in it. You have this one mini figure up here, which is just the diver skin from that one new set. And it has a torch with a sword. And then to help kind of cover up these studs that are right here, I'm just going to put a torch down. Along with another player, which is just kind of wandering along right here. And then a dog, which is just kind of following along with the characters, because the characters tamed a dog. The characters are both pretty stacked out, except for the one with gold armor. It does have a lot of netherite armor, but it is gold armor. And then Alex is the other minifigure, which does have a full diamond armor, and then a diamond sword, and then a pork chop. And then the dog behind is just a cute little dog that is in several LEGO Minecraft sets. But overall, that is pretty much the entire build. Up at the top, it is fully tiled off and is humongous. You have the little warden ear things off to either side. One on that side and then one on this side. In, in the middle, you have just the little portal statue frame thing. And then it is supported by this little clear piece in here because there was no way I was going to get it to just like, sag. Because uh, it did not look good in the tests that I had done. And then you have the little stairways up here that kind of lead up a little bit and then help hold up the entire build. Underneath, you have this blue flame, which does go all the way over to the other side. And it is supported underneath by some little pillars. And I think it looks pretty good. And overall, guys, that is going to be all for this giant build. This thing was like $300. It is insanely massive, though, and it was definitely worth it. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day.